very long day ahead of us today, so I'm gonna just start getting to it. I'm gonna just get to work. I got, I got so much to do today and I'm not excited. Uh. Okay, so we are here at the site today. I'm gonna show you guys how I did those little fancy corners on the shoe mold, as well as how to find the angle on a wall that's not 45 degrees. So let me show you that right now. Okay, so here's our edge here that we're trying to do the shoe mold on. Measure for this piece here. So right off the bat, the piece is gonna be two and one quarter tight to the edge of here. Two and one quarter. Now the angle, I'm gonna use this tool right here. It basically is an angle finder. There's electronic ones, but I'm just using this manual one. So what I'll do is I'll line it up flat to this edge then turn this. Now obviously this is in the way so I have to kind of back it out and try to make this line as even as possible which I think right there is pretty good. So it's like 142 or 3. This is where we gotta do some math. So we're gonna say 180 minus, because it's 180 degrees, minus 140, say 3, which equals 37. Now you can't get to 37 degrees on your chop saw so you're gonna divide that by two. 18 and a half is the number. That's how, that's how many degrees is this angle. So 18 and a half is what we're gonna have to cut these at. 18.5. Now for the second piece here, I'm gonna measure to the top of this uh, existing one. So from the corner to the top is 20 and a quarter. 20 and one quarter. Okay, so over here at the chop saw, Okay, so the first thing you want to do is set up your 45 and cut your 45 degree angle. Now I know that this corner here is what buds into the uh, previous piece and that's where we measured from. So take your tape, measure from that corner, 20 and one quarter. There's my line, I'm going to carry it all the way down, just like that. I need to set this to 18 and a half and I want the top of my blade to be on the, on the left side of this line. So I'm going to line that up. So as you can see there, that would be an 18 and a half angle right there. Okay, so now for the smaller piece, we're gonna take this small piece of shoe mold just because we don't wanna you know, waste the big pieces. So this here is gonna be the 18 and a half side. So right off the bat, you wanna go to 18 and a half this way, lock it, cut it. There you go, so we have the 18 and a half angle. So if these two sides lined up, just like that, that's an 18 and a half joint. So now we obviously need to make this the size of whatever the wall is, which we said was two and one quarter, so we're gonna mark two and one quarter. Now, because we're not we're actually gonna be butting up against a shoe mold, we need to do an end cap on this. So what you want to do is do your 45 degree angle, basically cutting into the piece, and you want to line it up at the very bottom of the line here. So what I would do, take my saw, and I want to be on the left side of that bottom mark, like that. So it looks really tiny right now, and sometimes you gotta cut off a little bit of these shavings, just peel them off like that. So it looks really tiny, but we're gonna fix that. Take your leftover, bring your saw to zero, and cut that straight down. So now that you have a 90 degree cut right here, we're gonna stick it up. Now, if you take your piece, and you sit it how you did, which was like this, we know that we cut this way. So you want to do the opposite. So go to 45 degrees the other way, line up your cut, just like this, and then you want to cut just on the right side of the tip. And there's a better angle for you, so pretty much right there. So we're gonna just cut a little piece off. Now make sure to wear safeties for something like this because pieces can come flying at you. At the very tip, and now cut. Now almost every time you're gonna have a little bit of these extra shavings that you're gonna have to peel off here. Just like that. Okay, so here we are back in the bedroom. I'm gonna put the piece in. Lines up nice. Come over to the corner here. Same piece, or the small piece rather. You butt it into that corner. There you go, you have a nice closed seam. You take that little piece that you had and you just pop it into the corner right here. 
which makes this really clean end cap. So for the regular baseboards, I like to use inch and a half nails, but for these little corner pieces, I use these smaller ones, which I think are about an inch. So I just use one shot in there just to keep it in place. What I do is I kind of hold the piece in because you don't want it to blow up when you shoot. So I kind of hold the piece in so it's nice and tight where it is, then shoot your nail. So same thing on this side. Hold the piece in, get the nail ready. Sometimes they do line up better than others, like this one here is like perfectly flat, where this one here, if you can see, has a little bit of a lip going on right here. Let's see if we can get that back in focus. There we go. So I'll show you how I deal with that. So I just take my knife blade here, and I pretty much just go like this along the edge to kind of smooth it out, cut any extras off, and now it's a nice smooth transition. Good morning everyone. I didn't make a video yesterday. Reason is that I literally had like, I woke up, went to work, did all that stuff and it was just awful. Like I just had an awful day. As soon as I got home, I just came home, napped, woke up, watched a movie, went back to sleep. So I really didn't do anything yesterday. So I kind of just decided not to edit because there wasn't really a point of posting something that isn't really watchable. Um, so today's Saturday. Uh, I still have to go to the job site because we didn't get that door done yesterday. Uh, which was the plan so I might even add some clips from yesterday into this vlog but we'll see but um so the door needs to be finished today because there's a whole screw up with a bunch of stuff yesterday so I gotta go get materials and I have to go drop off a check at the bank because I need to get paid um, and then I have to go to a funeral today as well for 1030 so um, I gotta get ready for that gotta go to that and then which I kind of forgot until last minute so I'm probably gonna have to work tomorrow as well to get this job done, which is just really shit. Okay, so we're all dressed up. Black, you know how it is. Okay, so we just finished the service. We're now all on our way to uh, the burying site. So we're gonna go do that. You can kind of see lots of cars behind us. We got a whole convoy going, but um, I don't think I'm gonna work today. I think I'm just gonna hang out with the family and just, you know, spend time with them, but We'll see what time we finish up here at. Currently it's 12.30. I still need to get lunch because I haven't really had anything to eat yet today. So um, we're gonna go bury him and then we'll figure out what's next. <laughs> you can buy. <laughs> He's holding me hostage. Okay guys, we are back home. It is 7.58. I slept when I got home. I was tired, everything. Funeral was pretty good. Um, I'm pretty good now. Zoe, how, how's work today? Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. So she's home now. Um, we're making craft dinner because she's starving and we have she hasn't eaten yet and she needs something quick. So we're doing that. I have to work tomorrow now because I didn't work today because it's, you know I spent time with the family and stuff like that. So no day off for me this week, unfortunately. I guess unless you count today as a day off, so technically I got today, but we're gonna make this food. I really don't know if there's gonna be a plan for the rest of today. Probably not. I'm probably just gonna make this food, go and chill and watch movies or something because I am exhausted. Like my body's on dead mode. And tomorrow we have a big day. In your room. Oh, that wink! You, you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me and Zoe have to go clean up those uh, frames that we left in the backyard because apparently the bugs are all over them. We're waiting until nighttime now so that we can go out and bag them up so that the bugs won't be uh, still on them, you know? So let's see how it looks right now. Yeah, there's a couple flies and just one bee in there. Ew, earwig. Idiot. So that concludes today. Zoe taking her makeup off, finishing up the night. Um, to be honest, not crazy amounts of things went on today because I was very busy with that funeral and stuff, but I'll have to go to work tomorrow, get a lot done there. So that's the plan tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna head to bed now. It's, uh, you know, 10 o'clock, start editing, all that kind of good stuff, and then uh, probably just hit the hay. So, you wanna say good night, Zoe? <laughs> good night. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, hope you guys liked it. Subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys tomorrow.